Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So the very first step is that we must have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this negative 6 must go on the other side. That means we're going to add 6 on both sides. So far so good. So this negative 6 and positive 6 they are gone. We got 2x square plus 5x equal to 6. The next step we must have uh, 1 as a leading coefficient. As you can see over here it is 2. How we can make it 1 by just simply dividing by 2. If you divide this one by 2 you must divide across the board. Each and every term is divided by 2. So 2 over 2 is simply 1x square plus 5 over 2x equal to 6 over 2 is 3. Now I want you to just focus on this part 5 over 2 the coefficient of x. Don't worry about this positive sign. I'm just interested in 5 over 2 only. So I want you to put down 5 over 2 right up here. I want you to divide this fraction by 2. Dividing by 2 is same as multiplying by 1 over 2. Now I want you to go ahead and multiply these two fractions. On the top 5 times 1 is 5 divided by at the denominator 2 times 2 is 4. So 5 over 4. Now I want you to go ahead and square whatever this quantity is. So I want you to add this quantity on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and take care of that one. So I'm going to put down x square plus 5 over 2x plus equal to 3 plus so that is we're going to add now this quantity 5 over 4 square on this side and 5 over 4 on this side as well now i want you to just simply look at the left hand side this represents a complete square which is x plus 5 over 4 square equal to this is going to be 3 plus 5 over 4 square is 25 over 16 3 could be written as 3 over 1. Now you might be wondering how did we get this complete square. So we use this well known fact right up here a square plus 2 times a b plus b squared could be written as a plus b squared. This is what I put it down and as you can see this x showed up right up here 5 over 4 is right up here whatever this sign this is going to be in the middle so now the next step i want you to look at this these two fractions we're gonna add these two fractions let's put it somewhere here so let's go ahead and add these two fractions right up here we're gonna add these two fractions by a really simple way by simply crisscross method so let's go ahead and cross multiply 3 times 16 is 48 then whatever this positive sign you put it right up here then you multiply on the other side 25 times 1 is 25 divided by at the denominators the numbers are 1 and 16 go ahead multiply them out 1 times 16 is 16 on the top add them up 73 is going to be on the top over 16 so that means this when you add these two fractions we got 73 over 16 on the left hand side is x plus 
5 over 4 square. Now since we want to solve for x, we must get rid of this square. How are you going to get rid of this square? By taking the square root on both sides. So that means this square and square root, they undo each other. We got x plus 5 over 4 equals to positive or negative. If you split them up, that's going to be square root of 73 and the square root of 16 is 4. Now we want to isolate this x, so that means this positive 5 over 4 must go on the other side. So x is going to be simply, when you make move 5 over 4 on the other side becomes negative 5 over 4 plus or minus square root of 73 over 4. So for so good. Now the next step is we want to split them up along these positive and negative signs. So one of the solution is going to be a negative 5 over 4 plus square root of 73 over 4. And the other one is going to be x equal to negative 5 over 4 minus square root of 73 over 4. So thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 5 over 4 plus square root of 73 over 4 and the other solution is negative 5 over 4 minus square root of 73 over 4. And these, these are our answers. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.